Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Darren and in today's video I wanna do a video covering the very first uh, play session as an outlaw rogue to explain you guys exactly how I felt playing outlaw, to give you my very first impressions and answer a few questions in like a FAQ. But I decided to pick all the frequent questions because I am almost expecting every single one of these questions to be asked by one person or the other. So I decided to do a questionnaire of multiple questions that I get on an average day in a video. And I decided to do, sit them down and answer you guys while showing you some first day one 7.1.5 gameplay footage as an Outlaw Rogue in a BG. So let's get started and I'm gonna try to fire these questions off as quickly as I can just to get through them uh, and I will probably cut the video to show you guys the best parts of the clips instead of me just running around on a mount. Uh, yeah, let's get to it. Uh, first of all, how does it feel? The patch 7.1.5. 7.1.5 feels pretty good. It feels pretty exciting because I know there's class changes that has happened. I'm not aware of all the class changes so I went into a BG and I decided to focus every single class out there. Uh, in, in most cases there have been some class and specs where I'm just like, okay, I'm not even gonna pay attention to you, your damage is most likely not gonna kill me, and I prioritize some classes and specs over others in terms of who do I hit, who do I burst down, who do I kill first. But here I kinda had to be aware of everybody, so it was a little bit exciting because I was not uh, sure what abilities and what effects were gonna be slung at me, and as well as how is my class gonna interact with everything that everybody else is doing. So that was actually very exciting. So it felt kinda refreshing. Next thing, how does the slow nerf feel? If you guys were not aware, the rogue's slow nerf has happened in 715 and the nerf is basically, uh, we have crippling poison, pistol shot and I believe uh, night blade that uh, have a slow attached to them, crippling slow, crippling poison being the slow. So your basic slow abilities are not as effective as they used to be. They used to slow people by 50%, now it's 30 and as an outlaw broke at first it felt a bit jarring because I'm basically watching casters run away from me. But after getting adjusted to the fact that that is my slow, it didn't really feel all that bad. It just basically made me uh, reliant more on my own mobility based abilities in order to get around the battlefield and be a bit more smart when it comes to my positioning. Especially like where I position my grapple and hook and whatnot. Uh, so it wasn't terrible completely, it actually felt kind of uh, kind of okay after you get used to it. And just made me realize that okay I cannot be burning uh, any of my mobility based abilities just for no reason and if I can utilize them with a uh, true bearing which does uh, give me more sprints and more grappling hooks, then I definitely can use that a lot more often. So it was something to adjust to, but as an outlaw rogue, I don't feel like it was all that terrible. Next question, how does the damage feel in general? And I would say the damage overall feels pretty good as an outlaw. And the only way I can attribute this is I didn't play any different. As you will see if you watch this video and if you see me do BG videos in the past, I'm basically utilizing my own guide that I put out recently by the way, uh, where I've been talking about this idea of up uh, uptime phase and downtime phase with outlaw. During your downtime you are efficient for buffs and trying to set up your uh, stuns on the enemy trying to line up some cooldowns together but during the uptime you're trying to burst the enemy with as much damage as possible when you have good buffs and just trying to maximize the effectiveness of that. So basically I did that so I didn't have to cheese this BG and keep mailing somebody over and over, didn't have to AOE cleave or anything, I didn't have to cheese my damage and the damage that came out at the end was just so ridiculously large in comparison to some of the other classes and we have a good variety of classes in this BG. We have anything from paladins, demon hunters, mages, hunters, warlocks, druids and in the end it was good old Dal that topped the damage. But don't take a look at the top damage in terms of how much damage I did, but a the look at the difference between my damage and the next highest damage on the list. So take a look at both of those and see just my spread compared to another person's spread in terms of their damage. Next question, how does the burst feel? And I would say the burst feels pretty good. I feel like uh, the burst actually felt very, very consistent. And with the buff to our saber slashes and pistol shots, it feels like those abilities are more incorporated and play a bigger part in terms of our burst. So we don't really have this like downtime. Like, let me show you for example, when you are playing Outlaw Rogue and let's say you're going through a burst with your artifact weapon, you have one global that you have to spend for Saber Slash, another global that you have to spend for Run Through for the damage, so every second global you're actually dealing damage. But with the changes to uh, 715, basically what you get is me just hitting Saber Slash and I hit deals damage, Run Through, that deals damage, Saber Slash continues to deal damage, so there's no really downtime between like, okay, 
break, damage, break, damage. Now it's just like damage, 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 but a run throws, of course, are going to be dealing a little bit more than saber slashes. But in general, it just feels more consistent. It feels like every single ability that I throw out uh, is more effective than it was in the past. So it makes me pretty happy just to see how everything works out. Is Rogue Squishy, and a lot of you will attribute this to the nerf that happened to Faint. Faint actually got a nerf where it is more, a little more costlier in terms of energy. So the cost for energy has been increased, and a lot of rogues are gonna attribute like, oh man, I'm just so killable now because of the Faint nerf. I feel that for the most part, rogues are gonna be okay in terms of the way faint is going to treat them. I feel like terrible and bad rogues are gonna be hit with this uh, realization that, hey, I keep spamming faint to put up a defensive, but all I need to do is just maintain the buff, not spam it. And then those guys are gonna run out of energy and basically have no way to retaliate, no way to build up combo points or use abilities. Uh, I feel like that's the only big difference that will honestly happen in terms of. Um, squishiness they did increase our stamina by a little bit they reverted a nerf they had to have stamina where most rogue stamina was like 90 percent effective they made it turn back to 100 so it's almost like a 10 percent increase back uh or maybe math wise it will be a little bit different i could be wrong but we do have more stamina so we have more over resource to absorb damage so if you combine that together with proper management of faint and the damage reduction that comes from Elysimus, which is the talent you should be running, again, follow my guide for that, uh, then I feel that you will be okay as a rogue. It will be a little bit weird to adjust to it, but you should be all right. Uh, okay, next one. I can't use defensives as often with the true bearing uh, nerf. Is this the end of Out the Rogues and is this the end of World of Warcraft? Not the end of World of Warcraft, but is it the end of Out the Rogues? I don't think so. And we'll have to see. But in general, Outlaw Rogues are pushing out more damage and they don't need defensives as often. And all you need to do is use defensives at a proper time. In the past, it felt like because we are able to get our defenses up as often as we do, uh, in most cases, we are able to counteract enemies, sustain, and burst damage. But if we are able to deal sustained damage but give up the ability to get our cooldowns back faster, I don't think that'll be a terrible thing. And mainly because if Outlaw Rogues are able to deal a ton of damage in general, then defensives don't matter as much. It's all about knowing when to use them properly instead of just blowing them just out of nowhere. Which I think is a little bit better for the game instead of just being that spec that, oh, just keep blowing your defenses and then getting them back and then blow them and keep getting them back. I mean, it's a unique concept, I guess, but it is not one that is all that skillful in my honest opinion i mean it's it's cool right it's 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 pretty cool concept right to counteract enemy sustained damage with uh constant defensives but i feel that it was a bit gimmicky and uh didn't really play up to the player's skill but more like to the luck of roll the bones and <laughs> last thing we need is just make out the rogue any more rng uh is out rogue overpowered <laughs> that's a good one uh Mm, I feel like it has potential. I feel like it has potential to be a really powerful spec in terms of a damage increase and still the continuation of how it functions in terms of true bearing, how it can function with other classes and increasing their damage, and how much CC you uh, bring to the table because you do bring a decent amount of CC. You do have pretty good mobility in terms of your uh, grappling hook and sprint and I'm pretty sure best players will be able to figure out how to use those abilities properly and maintain pos uh, good positioning and PvP in order to get to the opponent's uh, at an easier, um, I guess, uh, at a, at much easier than others. So I feel like Outlaw Rogues have potential for it, but I don't say from the very first patch of 715, the day one, that they are in any position to be called OP. Uh, is Outlaw Rogue shitty? <laughs> Good question. It has potential to be shitty as well. I feel like we're just so early into the patch, and I mean, it's just so hard to tell, if I'm being honest. I feel like Outlaw has potential to be really good and really bad at the same time, but it is really difficult to tell right now. I haven't had that many games yet, and I guess I'll just be able to find out pretty pretty early on. I'll be able to play some arenas, I'll be able to play some BGs and see the potential. I was, uh, I guess I was taken back a little bit by how much raw damage that it can deal, and how well I can do without this ability to just have infinite amount of defensive cooldowns and infinite regeneration of them. So if you know I deal enough damage and if I play my role and if I use my abilities very smart or as smart as I possibly can uh, and then if I'm maybe maybe just slightly not unlucky with roll the bone procs then I think Outlook could be a very solid viable spec because of what it can bring into arena and if it can bring decent damage well then we're in business you know I just I just it's hard to tell. Question, last question, because I know somebody's going to ask, is this the time to quit the game? Is 715 the patch that destroyed everything? 
No, I don't think so. I think you should definitely give every class a try and I feel like 715 is probably the best time to try out alts if ever because they did give people the capability whoever is um i guess caught up to the artifact uh points and artifact research you can get on your main that's been farming artifact research and just hand it out to your alt characters there's a lot of changes to just classes and specs in the game in general so i feel like it is fairly easy to try everything out and see what works for you see what you like see what you don't like as a player um definitely try a lot of things because i think this is the time if there's ever been a better time to try literally every class change that's been happening the hunters got changed i think the warlocks got a, a few uh honor level changes to them warriors got a fair amount of changes to them paladins demon hunters like there's a lot of changes just overall in the game so i think uh this is the best time to just give another class or another spec a try and if that does not work out for whatever reason well, it's up to you but i think this is a new patch and it's a minor patch but the amount of changes it brings are it's pretty major in my opinion i'm very excited for what they've done with a minor patch and i can only expect for 7 2 uh 7.2 whenever that's coming out to be an even greater patch i'm excited to check out all the things pve and pvp in the game and i'm pretty optimistic about how things are pvp wise simply because i got to play outlaw and a top damage and i didn't feel like i had to cheese anything in order to do as well as i did so that I felt like it was a really, really good sign. But other way, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think about Outlaw Rogue as the first impression. Hopefully, this, que this questionnaire of me guessing what questions you guys might ask, uh, this hopefully this questionnaire was enough information to give you guys a little bit of an idea of how I feel about Rogues, especially Outlaw, how uh, the footage can show you some of the different examples of how Outlaw Rogue is doing, uh, how it's interacting with other classes and whatnot, and hopefully this gives you guys a little bit of an idea about what's going on in 7 Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. My name is Dalren and I'll see you guys in another video.